Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPad Air 4, Apple Watch 6, and Apple Watch SE launched event. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Yesterday was a long awaiting day and it finally come to pass. Apple's iPhone 12 event may have been delayed this year, but we've now heard all there is to hear about the new gadgets coming from Apple, we've got new watches and iPads to talk about. The main talking point was the Apple Watch SE, a low price version of the watch that brings the higher end features of the watch range, but at a slightly lower price of $279. That's alongside the new Apple Watch 6, which should have a longer lasting battery, thanks to the new S6 chipset inside alongside a blood oxygen sensor, which can spot diseases by monitoring the level of O2 in your blood. There's a new iPad Air 4, 2020, which is taking the key elements of the iPad Pro and bringing them to a lower price point, plus using the new A14 Bionic chipset, we expect to power the new iPhone 12. And there's also a new new iPad, the basic model in the range, sick model in the range which has received a few enhancements inside the 10.2-inch screen. Intriguingly, we did get the vaunted Apple One subscription service, where you can bundle up your Apple services in one place and save some money alongside that is Fitness Plus, which takes the metrics from your Apple Watch and puts them on your iPhone, iPad or Apple TV screen and gives you real-time feedback on what's going on with your health right in front of your eyes. The new range of software from iOS 14 to Apados 14 to Watch 07 to Bose 14 are all being made available to we didn't get the Apple AirTags what's going on with them. Surely they should have made an appearance by now. The Pados 14 is coming, as well as Watch 07, for that sleep app and handwashing capabilities. And don't forget Lil Old Bose 14, which is also coming alongside. That looks like it's all done thankfully not the full 2 hours, because I'm frankly getting exhausted. There's been an absolute glut to get through. I'm intrigued by the Apple Watch 6, will it really have the extended battery life you'd assume it would, given the sleep tracking on board? The new iPad Air feels like a fusion between the basic new iPad at the bottom of the range and the iPad Pro more power, but not an extreme amount. Still Pro, but not Pro, if you know what I mean. That makes sense given the price it'll start at $599 and will be coming next month, so that must be something to do with the chipset, right? Lining up with the iPhone 12, perhaps. Also, this iPad also comes with a 100% recycled aluminum enclosure, as well as recycled tin in the solder too. Apple is making a big deal of being so environmentally friendly today. As, as predicted by a number of leakers, the iPad Air 2020 is going to use USB-C, which does indeed make it more like a laptop. There's a 12MP camera on the back single lens with an f1.8 aperture on there too. The speakers are going to be going into stereo mode one on each end, rather than the four chambers on the iPad Pro. There's a 10-hour battery life, and it's coming with the Magic Keyboard 2 arguably the best accessory ever to land on an iPad, it's miles better than the normal smart keyboard. There's a host of improvements that this new chipset is bringing for the iPad Air, and developers have already been getting their hands on it. First up one of my favorites. Etch and control the vinyl without touching the display, not sure that you'd want to do that, but then again, it's not like you're touching an actual record. Pixelmator is up next, and it's going to use the neural engine that will allow you to zoom into the display and enhance as you do, and works out how it should be sharper. It's going to be 40% faster than the previous iPad Air, and once again, Apple is comparing it to an HP laptop. Whether an iPad does rival a laptop is still up for debate, but Apple is going all in on how much more powerful its tablet are than comparable tablets. It's a 5nm process, which means a large increase in efficiency and more performance in nearly every aspect of the chip. This could really improve the iPhone battery life if when it lands in the new model. It's as simple as touching the button to log in, using a crystal enclosure to be able to see what's inside. Inside. It's going to get a new chipset too, the one for the iPhone 12. It's the new A14 Bionic. I wonder if that should have already been launched in the new iPhone, you know, the one that's been delayed. Now we're getting to the meat of it, it's the iPad Air, and it's being completely redesigned, it's got an all-new look, 5 colors, including blue, rose gold, green and the standard colors we're used to. There's a 2360 by 1640 resolution display, the true tone technology from other devices, but wait, what's this on Touched? It's going to be in the power button. That's been rumored for the iPhone for years and years, wonder if it'll come to the cheaper iPhone 12. We're seeing what we already know about Apados, but the new tablet will use the A12 Bionic chipset from the iPhone XS. It's got a 10.2-inch Retina display, and will start at 3 one banner in one subscription service. 
An individual subscription is $14.95 a month, while a family subscription will be $19.95. There will be intelligent selections defined for each person, with 10 workout types. There's yoga, strength, rowing, height workouts, mindful cooldowns and more. Most require no equipment, or just some dumbbells. This is an interesting one, if only Apple had launched some trainers as well with sensors in them at the same time. I remember that from Nike years ago, and I still miss it. There will be fresh new workouts each week from a range of instructors and a range of music styles to choose from as well. If you're a music subscriber, you can save the playlist too, if you want to remember when you felt like vomiting from effort. This is with well-known trainers, and it's called Fitness Plus. It's a service for Apple Watch to get fit and stay fit. It's powered by the Apple Watch, and it gives you workout metrics from the wrist. That data is designed to keep you motivated, and with Fitness Plus you choose the workout you want from the catalog of videos, and it starts the workout right on your watch, and it automatically becomes larger. A timer will show how long left in an interval, and your rings being closed in the workout, it'll show right on screen too. Apple is now talking about something to help us be a little more active, is this the new health platform we've heard so much about? Yep, Apple is delivering workouts built around Apple Watch, with dedicated offerings with music and metrics on screen. Apple is now talking up the environmental benefits of the Apple Watch, with 100 and recycled aluminum in the case, and 100% recycled rare earth elements in the Taptic engine. Here we are about the lack of an adapter, wait, there's no USB power adapter for the Apple Watch. That's a big move, people have a lot more lightning cables lying around than they do watch chargers. Apple should be bringing it. it's going to have the S5 chip from the Apple Watch 5, and with cellular models, you'll be able to use it with family mode. It's got the same sensors in terms of GPS altimeter and accessibility, it's starting at $279 and is twice as fast as the Series 3, which is still $199. The Apple Watch 6 will cost from $399 for the smaller version. Director of Apple Watch is telling us that families can all have their own Apple Watch, even if they don't have an iPhone 2. It allows kids or older generations to use a device that can monitor where they are or if they've got an issue with their health and for kids who they can contact too. Kids can track movement in a way that works best for them and create a memoji for them right from the watch. There's even school mode to keep kids from being distracted and has a specific face so teachers can see you're not being naughty. The straps are being changed a solo loop is in the mix now too. It's got no buckle and it's just a slip over the wrist job. It comes in a range of sizes. There's a rubberized version, silicone, and a braided version too. For the history of timekeeping the GMT face will show the time zone wherever you are, there's a way to track lap times, and a chronograph mode like in other fancy watches. There's a memoji face that will move and react to your touch, and a simple striped face allows you to customize to the way you want. Developers are being allowed to customize their own options for their app's photography to track the sunset, or better options. As predicted, it's the blood oxygen level monitor. Shining red and infrared light, it'll work out the color of your blood, and you can measure in just 15 seconds. A very glamorous video playing now, but it's a watch that looks very similar. The Apple Watch Series 6 is here, and it's the most colorful lineup ever. Blue, gold, graphite and a product red version as well. Yes that's it guys, more update and reviews will be coming up soon. Are you excited on the features of the new Apple devices launched? Let me see your comment below. Well having been said, please subscribe, like the video, 